Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So I have x to the power of 21 plus x to the power of 14 is equal to 36. Now x to the power of 21 here, this is equal to x to the power of 7 to the power of 3 plus now x to the power of 4 here, this is equal to x to the power of 7 to the power of 2. Because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, a to the power of m times n was 21 and 14. So I simply change 21 to 7 times 3, and then I rewrote it in the form a to the power of m times m to the power of n. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that the variable a is equal to x to the power of 7. So now, if I replace a for x to the power of 7, I get a to the power of 3 plus a squared is equal to 36. Now I can subtract 36 on both sides. So I have a to the power of 3 plus a squared minus 36 is equal to 0. And now, as you see, we have a quadratic equation. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite a squared as negative 3a squared plus 4a squared. And the reason I did that was so now we can factor out individually or in parts. So first off, from a to the power of 3 minus 3a squared, I can factor out a squared. So I have a squared times, now a to the power of 3 divided by a squared, well, if I have something in the form x to the power of m over x to the power of n, this is equal to x to the power of m minus n. So a to the power of 3 over a to the squared, this is going to equal a to the power of 3 minus 2, which is equal to a to the power of 1. So I have a squared times a to the power of 1, which is a, minus 3a squared divided by a squared, which is simply 3. Now for my right-hand side, I have 4a squared minus 36, and I can factor out 4, so I have 4 times. Now 4a squared divided by 4 is simply a squared minus 36 divided by 4, which is 9. This is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So a squared minus 9, that is going to equal a plus 3 times a minus 3. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a minus 3 from my left hand side here. So now I have a minus 3 times a squared plus 4 times a plus 3. And now this is equal to 0. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify what's in the parentheses. So 4 times a plus 3, well, I'm going to have to distribute the 4. So I get a minus 3 times a squared plus 4 times a is 4a plus 4 times 3 is 12. And this is equal to 0. Now, this gives me two equations. I have a minus 3 is equal to 0, or 
I have a squared plus 4a plus 12 is equal to 0. So now for a minus 3 is equal to 0, all I have to do is simply add 3 on both sides. These two will cancel out, and I'll get a is equal to 0 plus 3, which is 3. So this is one solution of a. Now for a squared plus 4a plus 12, to solve this, I'm going to be using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to 12. So now I have negative 1, or sorry, not negative 1, negative 4, plus or minus the square root of 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 12. And now I'm dividing this by 2 times a, which is 1. Now this is equal to, if I simplify this, negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared, which is 16, minus 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 12 is 48, all over 2 times 1, which is 2. And this is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 32, all divided by 2. And now the square root of negative 1, this is equal to i, which is an imaginary number. So I have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 32. And this is the same thing as 16 times 2 times negative 1. Now I have negative 4 plus or minus. The square root of 16 is 4, so that's going to be outside. So I simply left with the square root of 2 times negative, the square root of negative 1, which is, remember, i. So i will be outside. And I'm dividing this by 2. Now negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2, so I have negative 2 plus or minus. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 root 2, i. So x is equal to this as well. Or sorry, not x, a. So now, remember, we are not done yet because we set a equal to x to the power of 7. So if a is equal to x to the power of 7, and a is equal to 3, we have 3 to the, is equal to x to the power of 7. So now, this means that to cancel this out, I'm going to be taking the root of 7 on both sides. So then these two will cancel out, and I have x is equal to the 7th root of 3. Now, for my other equation, I have negative 2 plus 2 root 2i, and I have negative 2 minus 2 root 2i. So, to start, I have negative 2 plus 2 root 2i is equal to x to the power of 7. Now, to cancel this out, I'm going to take the root of 7 on both sides. These two cancel out, and I get x is equal to the seventh root of negative 2 plus 2 root 2i. And this is the same thing with the other one. I have x is equal to the seventh root of negative 2 minus 2 root 2i. So these are my three solutions to this equation. Yeah.